Lufkin and welcome back to another video. It's a wonderful windy day in Durban. We're in Blue Lagoon. We're going to do some street food also shopping. Also known as Lugs to the local people. So we're going to see what we can uh, find here at the stores. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to say hello? <laughs> <laughs> You want to do this? Ice. 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 Hi guys. So our street food video was a complete fail. But uh, it's still early. We're going to try what we have so far. So let's see what we've got. What we're tasting now. Okay, so firstly we've got a Durban favorite. Bombay Crash. Bombay Crash. And let's see what we've got to eat. That's called a... Feather. Feather. Who's trying it? Nice, nice and crunchy. Mm. To me, that'll go with a cup of tea, but anyway. Next up, also a favorite in South Africa, or Durban, I should say. happening here? Next up we have Furi Patsa. These are Indian South African snacks for those who don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Cup of dry. Needs a cup of tea. Yeah. And what are you trying now? As you can see she's got a packet of goodness. Potato bhaja. So that's potato fried with a bhaja batter and it's not as crispy as the last time. Okay. I well, think only because it's not fried right now. Everything else that we had was pretty fresh but this was probably fried a little bit earlier. So we have a picnic happening here. favorite so far. Beautiful scenes of Durban's Blue Lagoon. This is winter by the way guys. Sunny, crazy day. If you're watching from somewhere else, be jealous. So that's where the food stalls for the street food things happen. As you can see most of them are closed at the moment. There's a flea market area that's open. Fishing going on right there. How was the Bombay crash? refreshing thing ever even in winter. Gonna try the live one thing. Yep. So hopefully we have more luck later on. See you guys there. We have Bilal here. Passport. A whole lot of Good stuff in the menu here. Ashanta fried milli. I mean, you can let So this is my favorite Durban street food, fried sweet corn with some masala. 
What are you eating? Urunda. Urunda. It's Urunda. This is made with dog. Naal. And how does it taste? It's nice. Good. It needs to be warm. Why is it cold? Yeah, looks like the mealy, the sweet corn is all our favorites today. Miss Wooden does? Still chowing with the cheese. <laughs> yeah, it plain we didn't take anything with it Bombay crush. We had the pink one earlier. Perfect. You must say so. Yeah. It's a nice refreshing drink. It is. With some crushed ice, I think. Oh, and back to the lime. Oh, this is so tasty and refreshing. Wherever you are right now, you want to come and get this at Blue Lagoon. 
really good. We got it from the store, Kashmir's. Very good. So guys, we get Haris Bulagu. I'm just about to order some Pani Puri. Yeah. Let's see what we can get as far as yeah. I have a chat with the owner. We get some custom made Pani Puri. We have got the mask that is work here now. Apparently he says, he claims that it's the legendary hot that's the top seller. I tasted it the last time and it is the bomb. So guys if you're here at Blue Lagoon, just come and see how he's funny for here. And so it's two trays, huh? He's gonna take care of your taste buds. I will let you guys know about the taste between the one at Essenwood Market and the one at Blue Lagoon. I'm doing it in threes. The three hot three students now. As you can see, it's his twist to the whole thing. So it's unique to the way he makes it and the way it tastes. So far, I haven't found anything better than this. So we'll get a taste this now. And you're ready to go. Let's go. At all, at all. Thank you. 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 The heat is starting. <laughs> After you chew it, it lingers in your mouth. very flavorful. This is the bomb. I would say it's Durban's best funny for you. We are Blue Lagoon. Check out Hari. Hari's honey puri. This is absolutely divine. Just had our pani puri from that stall. I'm going to say this is Durban's best pani puri. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Fortunately, we can eat ice cream in winter. After having a hot pani puri. Refreshing. After all that we ate today, this is what you need to end the day. So we're ending our day with the most refreshing ice cream ever. These are, as you can see, where all the locals are. If you're ever visiting Durban, for a fraction of the cost. I, I, I think in terms of rands, we didn't spend more than 300 rand collectively today here with all the food that we ate. Might, it actually might be less than that. It's like 20 rands for budget, 20 yeah. rands for rounders. So you can get quite a few things, even for 100 rands. Yeah. And, and because of the scenery around, it's, you can have a picnic, you can shop for clothes, it's toy stalls. 
but yeah, this is and a taste of Durban right here. Cards as well. Yeah, but preferably come with cash. But yeah, as you can see, you can get anything that you want from here. It's, it's purely for the Durban market. A little bit inspired by India, but yeah. Oh yeah, Billy's 